Hi guys, your Punjabi chef is back and today I'm going to cook one of the most demanding fish in the world that is pomfret and the recipe I'm going to create is my mother's recipe so let's start cooking. Make four gashes on both the sides. And follow the same for the second one. Make the score like this and it should touch the bone on both the pomfrets. Now we we'll start with the marination. The marination will be in two stages. In first stage, I'm going to apply some salt on the fish. Nicely apply on both the sides of the fish. Rub it nicely, make sure it goes in the gashes. And after salt, obviously lemon juice. Lemon and salt makes the fish more flavorful. Nicely rub it. Follow the same on the other side. After massaging lemon juice and salt on the fish, I'm going to follow the same procedure and put red chili powder on it and massage the fish with the red chili powder. Next, I'm going to add haldi. I'm going to massage it nicely and making sure it goes in the gashes. I'm going to massage it nicely. And last, I'm going to add esophageta and massage it nicely. Once done, I'm going to let the fish rest for at least 10 minutes. The fish has rested well. Now we we'll start with the second stage of marination. In that, first, I'm going to take curd, ginger garlic paste, yellow chili powder, garam masala, coriander powder, kitchen king masala, black pepper powder, salt, chopped coriander, after adding all the ingredients, let's mix it nicely. I have used curd in the marination, but remember, use curd only if you're eating the fish right now. If you're planning to eat the fish later, use malt vinegar. The second stage of marination is ready. Let's apply it on the fish. Let's apply marination on both the fish and make sure it goes deep within the gashes. After applying marination on the fishes, I'm going to let the fishes rest for a few minutes and then we'll apply crumb on the fish and then we'll pan sear them. Now I'm going to heat up the gas, put a pan, add oil. The reason I'm crumbing the fish right now because I don't want my crumb to get soft as the bread starts soaking the crumb. And once I'm done crumbing the fish, I'm going to directly put the fish on the pan. I'm going to follow the same procedure for the second fish. Once the second fish is also crumb, also place it on the pan. I'm going to cook the fish on both the sides in total of 8 minutes. I cooked the fish for 4 minutes on one side. Now I'm going to flip the fish. The fish has turned golden brown, which means the fish is ready. There you go guys, our crispy pomfret is ready. Do try making this at home. But before you leave, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Get Curry. Goodbye.